Okay. So uh, it, this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. I haven't been done this in a while, so I decided uh, since we're the, the, the bye weeks between games, got to Europe, do some driving. I left off in Innsbruck. This shows me I haven't driven since the 1.41. So it says it's put me uh, in a place where I've got a garage. Now, I don't have a garage anywhere near Innsbruck. In fact, it's got me all the way out in Grimsby. But I kind of want to do Innsbruck because that's where I left off. So I am going to use, I think, and this is the only reason I would utilize this quick travel. I don't really necessarily want to quick travel places. I want to drive there. But since I left off in Innsbruck and it, magically transported me I feel like I should magically transport me back uh, 1807 is gonna cost me which isn't much but again this gets to put me back somewhere where I really was before the game decided I couldn't be there so that to me that seems now again it could be better in the sense that it could be free I, I see they don't want you to quick travel which is why there's a cost to it I get that, but I don't want to, I also don't want to be just thrown somewhere I was in Innsbruck. Why would I all of a sudden be back in Grimsby? You know, that doesn't make sense. So at least it's good, it's good for that. Why am I so far back or forward? Okay, hold on a second. So, um... So I got I got the thing on already. I I hadn't slept, so I guess I have to sleep first before I go anywhere. Um, and it looks like there's good places to sleep, so I'll maybe go here and then around to there. Ugh, why why does it do that? Let's go here and we'll keep following it around. Okay, but I do not want to do uh, Korean anymore. Now I'm going to do the language of the. Of the countries that I'm in for my voice navigation so let's go Deutsch Helga Los okay all right so there we are, still driving the DOF, uh, hoping to get a new truck soon. But that's, that's it. So what is it out? 28 degrees Celsius at 10.52 a.m. <coughs> we're gonna go get sleep. And then we're gonna pick up a job. Do I have traffic turned off or something? Oh, yeah, okay. That was a bit, a bit strange, didn't you? I think they're working on some changes. I think to Germany again, I can't tell. They got something coming up here on the next patch. Um, and I thought it was somewhere in, in Germany. But you just never can tell. As you can see there, I got seven different models of truck from my company. Kind of cool, nice little church in this work here. Um, is the hotel I'm making it, making it, making it? Oh, give me a break. I was in that intersection before it started. That bothers me. So yeah, I dig Austria here. There's the ski jump. Let's get some rest. Kind of, I think I probably meant to do this before last. I wish my draw distance was a little better, because as you can see, as I turn my head, mountains appear and disappear. I could see certain things doing that, but mountains in the distance should be drawn in much further back than that. So that's something I think they'd want to work on. And the mountain should not be disappearing. 
trees, you know, 10 miles down the road? Yeah. Mountains right next to you? No. Alright. Oh, I should put the windows up, I guess. Alright. Step outside and spend the night in Innsbruck, Austria. I hear music. Is it like a, a, a beer hall? That'd be kind of cool, right? Alright, so... Let's see here. Let me go to my... Oops, not my map. Go to my laptop, though, and see who's got a job in town here. Job market. Uh, I got a little more than 45 minutes until I gotta be somewhere. Pretty market. And then I think I could buy a new truck. I guess in the next place I go, I'll buy a new truck. Uh, Bologna. Oh, wait, no, I'm... Hold on a second. I'm in Innsbruck. Ostrava. Have I been to Ostrava? I have. Of course, I've been there. Luxembourg. I've not been to Luxembourg. Uh, 9 hours and 53 minutes. This is a urgent delivery. High value cargo, 23,000 euros from the Triet here to the Sand Builders. Uh, I can do that. I have not technically been to Luxembourg yet, so I will do that. So the GPS destination. Okay, we are los. Los. Okay, so F9, did I, did I fix this where I can do this now? The chat's currently not available. Oh, because I don't have... Okay, F3, 3. All right, let's go. It is, what is it? 8 o'clock p.m. I forgot what day of the week it was. Thursday. Thursday, 8 o'clock p.m. In Austria, we're going to make our way back to Luxembourg once we pick up these loaders. And then in Luxembourg... Or thereabouts, I'm going to look for a Beacon dealer. Up. Try and get a new truck. I should get my lights on. There we go. Rechts halten und dann rechts abbiegen. Looks like I gotta head out of town a little bit. Well, that's kind of cool. I get to see the, the ski jump there. I make this light. I don't want to get a ticket there again. I I had that ticket before. I got a yield. I got no one on the left. I got no one on the right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, leaving Innsbruck. It's the tree at. Luckily it's just south of town here. many times. Never been to the tree here in Innsbruck. Alright, there we are. What do we got? What do you got for me? The Forgate McGarket. We got stuff going all over the place. Ostrava, I've been there. Luxembourg, I've not. Venice, Salzburg, he's got a lot of stuff. Look at that. I don't know if I've been to Salzburg either, but we're taking the Auf geht's. the more lucrative one. All right, thank you. Towards the flag. There she, oops, there she is. Got some lumber stuff here in Austria.
Zeit zu gehen. Alright, step out. Oh. Take a look. That looks heavy. Alright, I got it all on there though. They put two of these babies on. Pretty good. They're gonna be those up to Luxembourg where they're obviously doing some construction or whatnot. I'm gonna haul this load up there and then look at getting a new truck. Alright, so if we go to the way bell, 23 tons of loaders to the sand builders in Luxembourg. They need it there by Friday, 739. It's tomorrow, 739. We're going to stop once we're jobbing up 23,000 euro, and then we'll buy a new truck, won't we? Won't we then? Got to head east. West, I'm sorry. Alright, and I do, actually, I want to see, might as well take a look at that now, right? Um, we'll get to Luxembourg. Oh, no. Okay, let's just take a look at the map where we're going. All right, we're going to pass through. Uh, if we're going to need to sleep, it's probably going to be near Strasbourg. Um, all right, there's some hotels there, but I guess, really, there's a gas station. Well, we'll see, we'll see them. We'll, we'll, just, we'll work that out. Uh, we'll get to Luxembourg. There's two things in town. One of those is going to be a dealer. And I think we already have one of everything. So we could just go ahead and get our second of whatever. So that's, a, that's how we're going to play Lass it. Right. Los laden. All right, let's get this thing out of town. Oh. That's not the first time I've done that. I had the trailer get hitched up. Okay. 23 tons and it moves like a little bit of pressure engine growls and moves this massive thing all right let's and this is like a like an office room here this big room the steering wheel in it all right good night Triet Strasbourg. It is a bit noisy, isn't it? Once I get on the highway, I will turn off the... Oh, close the windows. But I'll get on the highway first. It'd be nice to have the windows down when it's 23 degrees at the at night. It looks like we're about to get on the highway anyway, so, so calm down. So I had just done, um, obviously, if you look at looking at the channel, I had just done Flight Simulator. I had to rank my simulator games and what I like the most, what is the most enjoyable and fun, like if I had to play just one. I think first would be American Truck Sim. Be flight simulator, third might be Euro Truck Sim. But I really do like these, the truck simulators. They're, they're easy to pick up. But if you, you know, put all the settings difficult, they're hard to master, you know. Getting, getting everywhere you gotta be without damaging your cargo or getting moving violations or anything like that, you know. It's, it's not super simple. I already got a ticket. Going through a, a yellow light, I contend. <laughs> but 
but we drive through a lot of mountain stuff here. And again, we're kind of a break for the baseball season, so that's why <coughs> I had this. Although I, I did put a couple baseball games in the middle, uh, out of market games, not the not the Beatles, but some other the Sandcats, but it was our conference against the team that was that we were supposed to play against next. So. Cats took the first one against the Water Bolts, was the team we're going to play against, but they lost the second against the Burners. Good. Uh, 70? I'm going to go. I had it at 70 almost. Nice looking night, though, right? Look at these mountains. I can't quite get to 70, but looks like you're going to toll here anyway. That cop is riding that guy. Right? Donka. Yeah, look at this, the sunset, the lights coming down on the mountains there. Come out a little wide, but not, not too far. I guess we did some tunnel work down here. Oh, they're going to extend it. looks like a two-lane tunnel. Oh, so anyway, yeah, I checked up. So Matt and I did um, IL-2, but my, my um, broadcast software, the NVIDIA software, wasn't working. And uh, so, set my my. So um, I, I didn't get that up. So afterwards, I'm like, well, maybe it was a problem. I reset it during the game, and it didn't work. So I tried it again after me and Matt and I flew. And I just and I thought I would, well, you know what? I'll try the. I, so I just recorded, you know, something on my desktop, and it worked. So I'm like, oh crap! All right. So I thought, well, you know, what? I'm gonna just really quick check the. Oculus and see how the VR looks. And I just did single player VR and there wasn't a whole lot of air traffic and it looked really good. It worked really well. And man, it's so cool in VR to be inside the cockpit. It's such a weird experience. Um, it's such a cool experience. If I could get it to go all the time, I'd do it all the time and show you. I know I've done this in VR before, but I had to turn the settings so low. The hope still again is me getting a new system that can really handle VR and then doing this in VR going forward. Um, so anyway, then I also tried, I also tried uh, Dirt Rally in VR and that looked really good too. So I was in Greece in the car and it was just really awesome. I mean, even look down, you can see your character legs modeled and stuff. That's what I'm hoping. So it was good enough that I might try and broadcast one of those. Although I found with VR that you kind of need to, I kind of need to record them and then run them through a filter on my editing software that it's like a no shake filter, like you would use, you know, like a steady cam for someone who's moving around a little bit too much because the. VR headset picks up the most minuscule movements, and there's this constant, almost like vibration. It's like it never focuses on anything, which you don't really recognize when you have the headset on. It doesn't look like that, but it's picking up the movements at the front end of the headset, which is out front of your face, and that's kind of how it, it renders that. But, um, So, oh, nice good kind of night. Still, too. What time is it? 10 21. Um, yeah, so it helps to put it through that filter afterwards. To, I've, and I've done one V, I've posted one VR from this. Rechtzeiten. Dann Auswahl rechts nehmen. To uh, YouTube. Tommy. Uh, 
Tommy's Gaming Channel on YouTube. Nimm die Ausfahrt rechts. And um, so you can see that if you like. Again, it's low res because it's the only way that it would work on this. But I ran it through that filter and things look good. It smoothed things out. What it does is it, it zooms in just a little bit and then crops the edges off and uses an algorithm to uh, to detect movement under a certain amount. And if it, if it finds movement, I believe, if it finds movement that's small and then subsequent movement back in the other direction, it, it shifts the picture. So that you got, you know, it sort of like crops the edges off and shifts it to a position that takes the next one and puts it close by that last one so you don't get that sensation. It does a good job below on a, I think it was like a 30 minute or so um, recording. It took I, th I think a couple hours to render. Because it's literally doing that every frame. Some white water at the edge there, huh? Um, <clears throat> so that would that would be a lot would be a lot of post processing for that sort of a thing, but I still consider it worth it to show you. Now again, you don't see you see the point of view, and it's almost a little bit zoomed. in the VR like and I was in this thing in VR even in low res and it was just so awesome because you're not looking at what you would see straightforward it's you're in this thing you feel the roof above your head up there I can stand up and my head's just up on about the you know the radio there um, so you get the sense of the scale of, of the vehicle sorry Where you can do this in ultra settings, I don't think I would do it any other way than VR. So I can't tell if it's not showing the uh, indicator in the lower left if anybody's watching, so I don't know if anyone's actually watching now, but I'm going to keep talking as if some more were because this will be up on the channel for more than a week anyway. As I mentioned in the baseball games, I had been out on vacation for about a week, which is why I had some some time between videos, and then uh, now Pete's out on vacation, and most of, most of the content, most of the stuff I do now is Pete in some sense, and Eric, you know, once a week. Let me do, you know, I'm going to do, that's 60, I'm going to go 75. Uh, let me. Ch oh, I also want to check my. Sorry. For sleep, I'm good. Estimated. I am gonna have to. I'm gonna have to sleep, I believe. Just east of Zurich. So we are in Switzerland, I guess. I. I hadn't noticed that we had changed borders, but it's the middle of the night, 11.30 p.m. on a, I think it's a Thursday, is that what I think it said, right? Yeah, Thursday. Coming up on Friday, yeah, and then I'll head back to the States for baseball. Immer geradeaus. I have a half an hour real time that I got to uh, contend with. Let's see, check the external here. Looking good. Oh boy, 
Oh boy, again there. It's tough when you got those turns to do that. I've actually gotten an Immer geradeaus. <laughs> Going ahead straight. So, midnight. Right now, just switched over to Friday. 16 degrees. Somewhere near Zurich, Switzerland. If anyone just tuned in. I'm hauling, as you can see back there, some front loaders from the Triet down in Innsbruck, Austria to the, I think, sand builders up in Luxembourg. I still haven't, I've driven through Luxembourg, but apparently I haven't stopped to spend the night. So... Mackinac Island, which is really nice. I recommend it if you're in the Midwest. Um, beautiful there. And then I uh, did some camping with some family friends. Their family and our family up at Lake Charlevoix. So that was, that was a good trip. Nice inland lake just off of Lake Michigan. Relatively shallow compared to Lake Michigan, so it's it warms better. It wasn't warm water. I mean, it's chilly when you get in, but it, you quickly adjust to it. So it's like basically like a pool. Fifty. I was supposed to go fifty, and if I go seventy, am I gonna get in trouble? I know I'm speeding, but. I'm hoping to not pass a police car at 1 o'clock in the morning. Just, I know, I know, I'm playing with fire. Especially since I'm coming up on these guys. It's 80 for trucks, but I find oftentimes if you go the speed limit, it puts you in a turn that you don't expect to be as sharp as it is. It's a tip hazard. I do have my settings at full realism, like you say, with the least stability. So I can tip. And since I don't want to, I pay close attention to those things. That's not a, uh, I thought for a minute that might have been a, a border. No. Oh, sorry. Sorry about the swing around, too. That was kind of a, probably a disorienting thing. Check my services stuff. Oh, we look at right halfway to sleep. This dude made it Friday, 5.36 four more hours. I think we can make it straight through. Maybe just by 7.39. Yeah, I have to make it straight through. I really do. 
so I'm not gonna sweat it I'm just gonna get it I'm gonna set it for 80 just in case up my speed a little bit so we pass Zurich right I think this is near Strasbourg up here. I have to come over. Look out, buddy. Go back in. Oh, my. This is some, this is some turning. All right, now I'm going to, I'm going to switch lanes. Sort of, like, involuntarily. background switch lanes coming out. This guy's actually slowing. I'm going to have to slow down too. I just touched my brake. Because I shouldn't be taking turns like this this quickly. Hey, I'm going to stretch a highway I've never been on before either. Oh I'm, oh, I'm going too fast. And I just glanced up for a second. I almost went off. I'm going to set it at 80. Problem is, now I'm just barely going the same speed as this guy. And I'm blocking traffic in the left lane. And he's coming in. more hours be in Luxembourg I could buy a truck there maybe probably not on this broadcast though because I do have to go have dinner with the in-laws family's out at the beach right now something on the other side there fire truck oh my hero goodies trailer fire Well, as a vacation, I did see uh, they were towing it. This is in like central Michigan. They were towing a truck, a, you know, a tractor trailer rig uh, that it apparently looked like it had tipped. It slid along because all the glass was broke on the cab, um, massive damage to the front end of the truck and then the trailer as well. I can't tell. What else might have happened? But uh, it made me think of this game. You'd rather be the game than in the real life for that. So yeah, never been on this highway here. I'm trying to do slower head turns to keep you from getting disoriented. Vehicle. Straight along here, although it looks like now I've been, I've come up this, looks like I come up this on ramp. I've been headed out this way. Like I said, I've been through Luxembourg before, but I apparently never stayed there. So there's only one city. Okay, lass uns eine neue Route finden.
explore it just a little bit, probably here tonight, and I'll find out where that. Okay, I got a toll booth coming up here. I'll find out where that um, truck dealer is, and that'll be our next truck. Because I think I do believe I have one of everything thus far. I've got seven trucks. I got a quarter million left. I may do an upgrade also to my. to my um, garage in Rotterdam. Where is it? Right or the left? The left. There you go. Donka. Buttons did what? <laughs> Lowered both windows and put them both back up. Alright, 2.30. It's my ET. We're getting close to needing sleep. Right at 5.44. Uh oh. This is going to be, we're going to be pushing it. Because they need it Friday at 7.39. They need it four hours. My ETA is two hours, and I am hurt for sleep. Not hurting yet. But this is going to be, this is going to be close. I'm going to need to push it. Sorry about, sorry about, I'm just looking at all sorts of things. In fact, I'm going to go, speed was 90, I'm going to go 90. quick ones and then hit the road quickly. <coughs> Joke. Remember, it's video game people. Colors. Um, what time did it say? Five something? What time is it? 4.13? 5.45? People are flying past me. I'm going 90. Looks like I've got a turn point up here that's pretty sharp. But if I borrow that lane, I won't have to slow down. Oh, I, I can't borrow the lane. Okay. Yeah, he's letting me. He saw me weaving in there. Okay, now he can come in. Sorry, buddy. Okay, now I can't go too fast. I can go too fast. Oh, that's why. Alright, we got this going on. Holy crap! Oh, come on. Trying to give them the lane back. But they won't take it. Alright, in that case, keep your lane. I'm gonna ride the left. It's the price you pay. There we are, early morning drive. Oh, oh, I gotta get over. Rechtshalten und dann aus 
Wird oh, wird oh, nobody's there. All of a sudden, it's like they disappeared, right? Biege nach rechts ab. Okay, now I do see that I have a viewer in the lower left down there. Maybe you're going from Strasbourg. No. Where did I say I was going for? I put it on the thing. The Strasbourg. Austria to um, Luxembourg. Pulling these. Pulling these. Loaders. The Triet to, I think, the Sand Builders. Luxembourg. Never been, never been to Luxembourg. Hoping to get there quickly. 540 something. And just as I'm like I'll fall asleep. It's the bag. Hey, here we are. Luxembourg. Oh wait, is that Holland? Oh here we go, Luxembourg on the right. Well, oh my gosh. Und dann rechts abbiegen. Sorry. I know. That was that was your lane and I took it. This guy's getting Biegen pulled over. Vegan to right up. up. Alright, let's see. Went down the ramp. Look out, everybody. I'm tired. I drove through the night, through the mountains. Look out, buddy. Thank you. I saw I was coming. I can't tell if I'm going to be on the right or the left. I think it looks like the left. That's a police car, too. Go. Come in, buddy. I'm coming in. Back up. <gasps> okay, sorry. I know I just took to both lanes there, but I thought I was going to smash into that guy. I don't want to hit the cops. I'm going to pull right up on him. <sighs> tired. Nice looking city. And I have to. Yeah, I guess I have my first signal on, so I thought I was going CC coming up. Immer geradeaus. Right, it is WGCC. WTCC. WTCC. We'll have to fly again with Matt coming up soon. Uh, we... oh, I know, I'm good, man. BF 110s. It's a nice German aircraft. Nice fighter bomber, attack bomber. Biege nach rechts ab. Ui. Sand builders, that was good. Coming in kind of quick. Sandalers. Well, looks like they're building something here. I was talking to my last one. I'm not sure if the game, when they do updates, if they end up moving these construction areas. 
and putting buildings in the place where there's a construction site. That would be cool if they did. I don't know if they do it. Right. Easy delivery, though. All right, step out. Take a look. That looks good. That looks real good. Some landing gear. <clears throat> 638 kilometers, 253 liters. Nine hours, 34 minutes. Oh, almost got there. Continue. I have to go real quick to the world map. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I gotta find a place to sleep. Das ist schlieben, ja. Maybe. Let's see here. Let's reset this. If I go here, and then here, and then there. There we go. Now we gotta pass those places and see what I have in town to see what my new truck's gonna be. Drivet. Fertig zum Losfahren. Ja. Pull out. A shiny new thing. And then out of here. I don't know which direction to turn. So I'm going back here. Take a right out. Okay. Begin right out. Ooh, I can't get into that corner quick. Rechts halten und dann rechts abbiegen. Our bird's oh. trip. Biege nach rechts ab. You got it, lady. Luxembourg. Beautiful city. Yeah. That's nice. I don't know why they get such a bad rap. <laughs> um, old Frisians. The Belge. The Belge. Battle of Belgium. It's a Volvo. A Volvo. Discovered. I'll throw him to get my up. You got it. A new place to hire my driver. So I'm going to hire a, a Belgian. Any worse? Nimm diese Ausfahrt. First, I'm going to spend the night at the hotel. Ooh. I know, I know, I'm very sorry. Luxembourg. There we are, a little close to this guy, but here we are in Luxembourg. Luxembourg. <laughs> the city's so nice, they named it twice. Um, and I'm going to get my new truck here on my new episode and then send it in. So maybe, maybe I'll do it tonight. Maybe I'll get a new truck tonight and put it on the next one. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.